Hey everybody, my name is Brian Pleto. I am a veteran comic book creator, the publisher of Coffin Comics, and the creator of Lady Death, the reason why we're doing this campaign. So, are you not familiar with Lady Death? That's okay. Lady Death is a sword-wielding anti-hero who battles evil in hell and on earth. Her comic book adventures have been in print for over 25 years, but in this recent Coffin Comics era, they've been so popular, most of them are out of print, so that's why we're bringing you Lady Death The Collection. Check it out. So Lady Death The Collection is a series of what we call chapters of the first 10 Lady Death adventures. They all are about 48 pages in square bound. They feature uh, art, beautiful story and art. And since they are close to sold out, what we're looking to do is to update the covers and do foil enhancements on each edition if we can reach our stretch goal. But that's not all when it comes to Lady Death Collection. Lady Death has a long history of being illustrated by phenomenal artists. So we're also presenting Lady Death Naughty, Lady Death Masterpieces, and Lady Death Naughtier. So these images, as you can imagine, are actually naughtier images by some of the top artists in the field. And Lady Death Masterpieces is close to 200 pages with artwork by a who's who in this world. So again, Lady Death Collection, 10 chapters, all at least 48 pages, some as long as 64, including our most recent Blasphemy Anthem. Here you're seeing the quality of the story and of the art. Check it out. But look, I know we may be new to you guys, so want to give you a little bit of a tour, get to know Coffin Comics, our base of operations, what we're about. So let's take a look at this place. This place is called the Polito Archive. It's amazing through the magic of crowdfunding. Now we've been crowdfunding since 2015, but we haven't been on your platform. That's why we're kind of coming to you, reintroducing Lady Death, and uh, you know, having this video where we get to know each other. So let me give you a tour of Coffin Comics, shall we? So come on over. First up, I'd like to introduce you to the crypt. And this is where sales and marketing happens. So. Hey, young man, do you mind saying hello to the people out there? Hey, everyone, my name is Sako Sean. I am your customer service and sales manager here at Coffin Comics. So, I'm here, you know, I enjoy meeting everyone. Um, so, let me ask you a question, man. What's your favorite pop cultural thing? So, I would definitely say besides Batman, it's gotta be The Walking Dead. Super cool, man. Well, also, Hey man, the guy's been manning the camera up until now, the one and only, say hey. Hey, it's Jimmy Coffin, I'm the marketing manager here at Coffin Comics. My favorite pop culture thing is monsters and horror movies. Yeah man, I love the monsters, I love the horror films, that's something that we have in common. So, hey, let's continue our tour. So you saw the crypt, now come and take a look at the Coffin Comics shop. And it just so happens that I have another person here who's been here since the very beginning. Hey man, you might say hello to the folks, tell them a little bit about who you are. Uh, yeah, my name's Nick Agos, I'm the editor here at Coffin Comics, and my favorite pop cultural thing is probably video games, uh, mostly Nintendo stuff with Mario and Zelda. So Nick and I have been working together since 2008. When Coffin Comics was just operating in, in the, my extra bedroom, yeah. I would call Nick up and say, hey dude, I have about 10 hours of work a week. And, yeah. and then it went from 10 to 20, and, and then we graduated from the one bedroom, and then we got inside like, uh, these storage units so yeah. we ultimately worked up to three storage units that we were kind of more or less gray legally uh, occupied you yeah. remember that yeah we got told one day yeah we finally got kicked out and we got our first office which was 700 square feet we were like 700 square feet and then as soon as we got in there it coincided with the first time we crowdfunded stuff and we realized oh my god it's not enough space <laughs> Hey, uh, Nick also recently was our customer service manager until recently, and he did a stellar job. Uh, uh, but um, Sean is going to be a great, great person to replace him. Anything else you want to say to the people? Uh, no, thanks for thanks for considering our wares. Um, I hope you guys like them. Right on, man. Well, let's continue the tour. So, uh, Coffin Comics HQ here in Mesa, Arizona. You're taking a look at some of our most recent works. We get to work with some phenomenal artists. But now, when we go into this room, here's our warehouse area. So this is our warehouse area at Coffin Comics. And hey, first up, I'd like to introduce you to this young man. Say hello to the people. Hey guys, I'm Coop. I'm the resident badass. I do everything around here, make boxes, put bags and boards. I put boards and bags. Actually, I do everything that they ask me to do. Everything legal. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I'm wrapping uh, cylinder contents. Fine art print. Fine hey, art do you print. mind showing people uh, your your tattoos? Yes, I'm, I'm into everything Marvel. 
Yeah, Marvel Man, Captain Marvel, Galactus, Goblin, nice Kirby Surfer. Yep. So great, man. This is my life. This is what I do outside of teaching. <laughs> Cooper and I have actually been pals and working together for 20 years plus. Hey, while we're here, take a look at the tombs. The tombs actually where we kind of keep all our boxes. Because, you know, you got to box this stuff up. If you take a look at this room, you're actually looking at what we call the assembly room. This is where, when we receive material, we'll do things like assemble a stretch goal pack or assemble orders or where I myself do some signing. But hey, I noticed this young man over here. Uh, say hello to the people. Hey everybody, I'm Julian. I'm here working in the warehouse, packing some orders to ship out to all of our customers. Um, I'm also really big into Godzilla, Japanese monster movies, Mothra, Ultraman, you name it. That's what I'm in for. Yeah, man, so Julian and I go way back. Uh, like a lot of folks here are coughing, and what I always like to say is uh, we're a couple of pop cultural barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> is there some truth to that? There is very big truth. We've been doing this for a long time. Quarter century now, right on. Quarter century, <laughs> yes. yeah, man. All right, so this is the assembly room, and now we're going to uh, gonna take you over to where the magic happens, man. This is where we receive stuff, where we pick stuff, pack stuff, check stuff, ship stuff. So check it out. Take a big look. Uh, this is the Coffin Comics warehouse where we receive, pack and assemble. Folks here today are packing a whole bunch of orders. And I see this fine young man in his winter, uh, winter flannel. You mind saying hello to the folks? Hey guys, um, my name's Randy. I'm one of the order fulfillers here at Coffin. I've been in comic books all my life. Um, my favorite character is Batman, of course. How can you go wrong? Batman, of course, he says. Okay, we'll see about that. <laughs> Right on, Randy, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. And yeah, you see what'll happen is there'll be a given order that Randy gets, and he'll go around and pick the various items that are associated with that order. And here's another fine young lady that we have a long association with. Mind saying hey. Hello, I'm Jerry Lynn. Um, I fulfill orders here at Coffin, uh, and my favorite is Superman. That's awesome. And hey, once an order is picked, then it goes over to being checked. And it will be checked by this young lady. Mind saying hey. Hi guys, my name's Dakota, and I am the warehouse assistant here at Coffin. And my favorite pop culture thing is probably Harry Potter. Nice, a Harry Potter person. Well, you know, I know that a lot of people who order get concerned about uh, how their stuff is shipped. Could you show folks uh, a single item order and how we would pack it? Absolutely. So basically, we have what we call our coffin mailers. And basically, they just fold in like that. And we take a book, and we put it in the middle. And we fold it, really simple. No, no big fuss required. And then we just tape it like that. It's nice and safe, nice and secure. Not yeah, the, anywhere. yeah, nice sturdy cardboard mailer. Well, thank you so much, Dakota. Dakota also is a phenomenal picker, and as arcane as comic books can get, she knows almost every single iteration of all of our books. Fair to say? <laughs> I don't know about that, but okay. All right, cool. <laughs> well, look, all this really couldn't happen under, without the tutelage and the management of the one and only Brandy Reese, who is our uh, warehouse and fulfillment manager. Mind saying hello to the folks? Hi, Brandy. everybody. So this is Brandy, and would you mind telling everybody your favorite pop cultural thing? New kids on the block. So I love how she says it so painfully because she's like the white. Because they know. Because she's the white sheep of the family over here. It's true. <laughs> hey, that's cool. So let's get another look. And this is our warehouse, which is uh, open all the time, doing all the things, getting the things done. But let's bring this back to our base, to our main reason for doing all this stuff, Lady Death the Collection. I wanted to show you HQ, what we're all about, so you kind of get a sense. Who would you be back? Who would you be, uh, you know, who the heck are these people? So we come to the part of the video where I got to say, please pledge now. If you think that this would appeal to you, tell your friends, tell your enemies, pledge, pledge, pledge. We thank you so much for your consideration that you would even consider our wares. So uh, you've been great. We've been Coffin Comics. Please pledge today.